in this video we are going to see an example on equilibrium of concurrent force system in space let us see the statement first determine the force developed in the cables ab ac and ad used to support a 40 newton crate as shown in figure so this crate whose weight is 40 newton is supported by three cables cable ab ac and ad so this system is in equilibrium or not yes of course it is in equilibrium because this crate is supported by three cables right now you have to find out the force in each of these three cables is it clear okay now at point a total how many forces are acting so if you draw free body diagram of point a so what are the forces acting force in the cable ab force in the cable ac force in the cable ad and the force in the vertical portion of the cable right so the total four forces are acting let force in the cable ab is f1 force in the cable ac f2 force in the cable ad is f3 and here weight of this crate is given 40 newton so force in the vertical portion of the cable is nothing but the weight of the crate say i will call that force as w right so total four forces are acting at point a so this concurrent force system and point a is in equilibrium so when a system is in equilibrium then the resultant force of that system has to be zero so all these forces are acting at point a which is in equilibrium means the algebraic sum of all these four forces at point a must be equal to zero so to take the algebraic sum of these four forces first we write force vectors to write force vector you must know the coordinates of the points so what is the first step you have to write the coordinates of the points now here a is the origin it is given it is x axis y axis and the vertical is z axis now what are the coordinates of point a being a is the origin coordinates are 0 0 and 0 now to write the coordinates of point b starting from the origin you have to reach point b moving either along x y and z directions see i am starting from point a now i have to reach point b first i will move along the negative x axis so it is positive x axis and negative x axis by how much distance it is 0.75 meters so moving along the negative x axis by 0.75 meters and from here i will move along the positive z axis by how much 2 meters so now i have the x coordinate as minus 0.75 and the z coordinate as plus 2 now from here to reach b i will move along yes parallel to y axis in the negative direction by how much 1 meter so i have y coordinate as minus 1 now what are the coordinates of point b x minus 0.75 y is minus 1 right this is our positive y axis and from here i am moving in the negative direction so it is minus 1 and z coordinate is plus 2 is it clear if you have doubt please go back to the video and again see the coordinates so the coordinates of b now for minus 0.75 minus 1 and 2 now you tell me what are the coordinates of point c so to reach point c from point a i will move along the negative x axis by 0.75 
So the x coordinate is minus 0.75 and from here I will move along the positive dead axis by 2 meters and from this point onwards to reach point C I will move in the positive direction of y axis. Is it clear? So to reach B I have moved along the negative y direction. So it is minus 1 y coordinate. But here I am moving along the positive direction. So it is plus 1 and z coordinate is 2. So the coordinates are point C minus 0.75, 1 and 2. Understood? Now to write uh, the coordinates of point D are not required to write the unit vector because this cable AD is acting parallel to or along the x-axis. Directly you can take the unit vector along x-axis as I. Similarly, here W is acting vertically that is parallel to z-axis but in the negative direction. So the unit vector in the negative z direction is minus k. So no need of writing position coordinates for these points. Right. Now what is the second step? We have to write force vectors. How many forces are there? Four forces. F1, F2, F3 and W. Now how do you write force vector F1? Yes. Magnitude F1 into unit vector along the line in which it is acting. So what is the line along which F1 is acting? It is acting along the line AB. So F1 is the magnitude of force which we don't know. We have to find out the forces in the cables F1, F2 and F3. Right. That is equal to F1 into unit vector along AB. So that is B minus A. Coordinates of B minus coordinates of A. So coordinates of A are 0, 0, 0. So here you have minus 0 0.75 minus 0 i plus minus 1 minus 0 j plus 2 minus 0 k upon square root of 0.75 square plus 1 square plus 2 square. So please do the calculations. So after doing calculations, you will have force vector F1 is equal to F1 into minus 0.318i minus 0.424j plus 0.848k. Okay. Say this is equation 1 that is force vector F1. Similarly, force vector F2 magnitude F2 into unit vector along F2 is acting along AC. So unit vector along AC. So it is F2 into how do you write unit vector along AC? C minus A minus 0.75 minus 0 i plus 1 minus 0 j plus 2 minus 0 k upon square root of 0 0.75 square plus 1 square plus 2 square. So force vector F2. So it is F2 into the unit vector minus 0.318 i plus 0.424 j plus 0.84 k. Okay. So this is equation 2. Now force vector F3. Magnitude is F3 into unit vector F3 is acting along the positive x-axis. So unit vector along the positive x-axis is I. Directly you can write I. So this is 3. 
and force vector W. What is the magnitude of W? It is 40 Newton. So it is 40 into unit vector. W is acting along the negative z axis. So unit vector is minus k. Magnitude is 40, unit vector is minus k. So this is equation 4. Now we have written force vectors of F1, F2, F3 and W. Okay. Please go down. Now, system is in equilibrium. So, point A is in equilibrium. So, let us write equations of equilibrium. So, for concurrent force system, in the space force system, that is three dimensional force system, we have three equations of equilibrium. Because when the force system is in zero, its resultant is zero. That resultant can be resolved into three components along x, y and z axis, right? So when the resultant is zero, all three components must be zero. That means x component of resultant, what is x component of resultant? Summation of x, algebraic sum of x components of all forces is x component of resultant, which is equal to zero. Similarly, y component of resultant, summation f y is equal to zero and z component of resultant, summation fz is equal to zero. So there are three equations of equilibrium for concurrent force system in space. Summation fx zero, summation fy zero, and summation fz is equal to zero. So let us write those three equations. So writing, summation fx is equal to zero. That means, x components of all four forces must be zero. Here, i coefficient is nothing but x component, right? Now, what is x component of F1? It is minus 0 0.318 F1, right? Minus 0 0.318 into F1. So, it is the i coefficient is nothing but x component of F1. Now, what is x component of F2? It is minus 0 0.318 into F2. What is x component of F3? It is F3 only, i coefficient. So, plus F3. x component of W, there is no i coefficient here. Therefore, it is 0. Is equal to 0. Equation 1. Now, summation Fy is equal to 0. So, what is y component of F1? Minus 0 0.424 F1. For F2, plus 0 0.424 F2. For F3, there is no j coefficient, there is no y component. And W also, there is no y component is equal to 0. Say this is equation 2. Now writing summation fz is equal to 0. Third equation summation fz is equal to 0. What is z component of f1? So 0.848 into f1 for f2 plus 0.84 F2. For F3, there is no k coefficient, it is 0. Whereas for W, it is minus 40. Minus 40 is equal to 0. Now, we have three equations. Then it is equation 3. Three simultaneous equations. Three equations and three unknowns. What are the three unknowns? F1, F2 and F3. So solving these three equations, you get F1 as 23.58 Newton. F2 
23.58 and F3 15 newton. What is F1? It is the force in cable AB. That is FAB. F2 is force in the cable AC. And F3 force in the cable AB. So these are our final answers. Is it clear? So there are basically four steps in solving the equilibrium of concurrent force system. Step 1, write down the position coordinates. Step 2, write down the force vectors, force vectors of all forces. Step 3, write down the equilibrium equations. Summation fx, summation fy, summation fz is equal to 0. And step 4 is solving the equilibrium equations to find out the answers. Is it clear? But remember, again and again, I am telling you, please do the calculations. Just watching the video will not help. Engineering mechanics, lot of practice is required for solving the problems, for doing the calculations. Hence, please do calculations. Thank you.